Yeah, I think so too. Uh, he must be more excited than anything to uh, to push his brother through this. Uh, they are going to be, I believe, virtually, um, or they'll be in person. They'll be in person in Czechia. So we saw all of those uh, all of those spectators that are sure to be cheering him on through this. Starting out the race, we got off without a hit. No false starts here. Uh, and we can see very high rates as we see some of the fastest athletes we'll see at the games competing here. So we'll see if we can get a look at some of our leaders off the hop. We see uh, Yuri Kapp down at a 128, starting out very strong here. Ward Lemelin at a 123, but a high 44 stroke rate. So we'll be looking at him to bring that down, but I think he's going to be very precise with the pacing here. He knows exactly what he's doing. He has a race plan and we'll all be cheering for him to carry it out. We have Gaston Mercier here as well, a 129 sitting comfortably uh, on webcam. So it's great to see that we have quite a few athletes who are from all over the world coming in from basements, the, the Belgian base and, uh, and other rowing clubs. But it's Ward Lemelin taking the lead here as we expected as we go into the first 500 meters of this race. Yeah, Natasha, I think uh, a little bit nervous here for Lemeline because with 450 meters gone, we said we're looking for 123.9. Now, I think you can afford to be on 124s because you have the final sprint to try and pull that number down. But 125s and up at rate 41, that is a little bit drifted. I know he's got a good sprint. I know he can really rattle through in that final bit. But uh, here is his brother, Loda Lemeline. We've talked a little bit about him. We're now taking a peek into uh, some of the other uh, venues here around the world. Uh, we've just hopped into Canada here with Kevin Murray. We were just in Italy a second ago. But uh, the, the race is on in the top three for gold, silver and bronze. Still Ward Lemmerlein. I think it's uh, undoubted that he's the favourite, uh, whether he's going for the record or not. Jakob Drazel currently in silver medal position. And Mikhail Spakowski, that was one of the uh, athletes Pete called out, a member of the, the Polish men's four from years gone by. Lots of experience there and uh, certainly times worthy of world championship winning medals like here at the Indoor Championships. But uh, Lemeline, I, I think off the pace here, I think it'll be really difficult for him to pull this average down. We'll have to wait and see. There he is on picture, left-hand side of that bigger part of the screen. He's right next to Jakob Pedrazel there on the right, who's in silver medal position. So he's got a pacer. He's got someone to keep him company up there at the top of the leaderboard. Uh, but those splits to me, not looking characteristic here of that world record that uh, we knew he was trying to go for. Maybe we've cursed it Natasha, uh, but look it's still going to be a very impressive time nonetheless. Through halfway with a 16 metre advantage and uh, I think our leaders here for the podium getting themselves well clear but a great race on for fourth look. It looks like they're quite close for fourth. So from Czechia we have Jan Potcek and then Gaston Mercier uh, from Belgium. So he's competing virtually. And then Lode Lemelin as well. They're all within about five meters of one another. So we'll look for that to progress. But Jan Pocek uh, really doing well here, starting to pull away at a solid 129, 128. So he looks nice and strong going into this race. We have Raul Overath here as well. I think we saw him on camera earlier. Uh, and then here is Jakob Podrazel, who is your second place competitor. Quite a few athletes from Czechia as well competing. You can see we have an absolutely full field at the uh, O2 Universum in Prague. Some of these athletes very close to one another. We have Jan Sisibuk, Thomas Sisma. They're within a couple meters of each other. Uh, Moritz Schneider as well, also in the mix. Quite a few of these athletes competing in person. We have Daniel Nocek. We have Yuri Kapp. We have Tom Atkins as well. Tom Atkins competing virtually. So quite a few of these athletes very close to one another. And they'll be looking at, you know, plus or minus a couple meters trying to move up in the rankings to hit even one of those top 10 spots. 
Yeah, they will. Top 10 is very impressive here in the field that we've got. But here is Ford Lemmerlein, our current race leader. And he's got a mountain to climb if he wants to hit anywhere near his previous records in this event. Still 127, a very impressive split. He's being chased down by the Polish world champion from 2019 in the men's four uh, back in Linz. But Spakowski is uh, still a, a fair distance away from standing atop the podium because that is uh, solidified by Lemon Line as it stands at the moment. 300 metres to go. Those splits still not able to come down here. And in fact, Sverkowski currently pulling much faster 500 metre times than uh, the Belgian at the top of the leaderboard. But Ward Lemon Line now 40 strokes a minute. Here he comes. 126 now. He's taken a couple of seconds off that split. But uh, I don't think we're going to see a world record here today. We'll certainly see a very fast time, though. Uh, whether it will be sub 540, I do not know. 130s now. He's drifting. I think he's realised that maybe it's not within grasp here in Prague, but uh, still, nonetheless, it will be very, very impressive. Uh, I think the podium fairly set for places now. We'll have to wait and see what the winning time will be this year. Uh, year on year, Ward Lemmerlein comes to these championships, and year on year, uh, he produces a very impressive time. 5.43.2 for today. Uh, not quite as quick as last year for silver medal, but it will get him a gold here in 2024. Uh, Spakowski seems, uh, I think, tired yet pleased with that and a great support team from Poland. And Jakub Podrazel, uh, great for him to secure a medal in front of the, the Czech crowds. And uh, Natasha, I think, you know, we, we bigged up the chances there of a world record. But look, you know, Lemmerlein still very impressive, still very young and still plenty of time uh, to set that record. And look, I think when Josh Dunkley Smith set that record, uh, he certainly wasn't uh, as young as Ward Lemmerlein is now. Absolutely. And we have to talk a bit about the redemption arc. Uh, Ward Lemmerlein won this competition in 2022. He came in second last year and now he's a winner again. So he must feel good about that coming back to the top of the podium. Uh, Mike uh, Spazowski is in front of us now as well, coming in second. We can see from the highlights, he looks absolutely elated. We have to talk a bit about Gaston Mercier, his sprint. We saw some 123, 124 numbers from him. So he had an amazing sprint to clinch that fourth place position over Jan Potchek, 